Um, could you sense today no goals allowed to hit the two shots? They came out pretty aggressively. Um, what was the key to the defense to limiting the next shots from the strip? Um, I think very important part of the defense was aggressiveness. We talked a lot about that, especially after the ACC final against UNC. We came out very passive, so we wanted to change that up. So we came out very aggressive. The midfield stepped up in interception lines, and that was way uh, really an improvement from the last time we played them. So that makes it really easy for the defense in the back to step up behind them. So really the whole team did a great defense. It wasn't just the three in the back. It was along the whole field. Right, and when, when Lou, uh, after his second goal during the timeout, I saw you and Rose talking to Alan on the side. What was that kind of conversation like about the defense? Um, yeah, we discussed a lot, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, I don't remember exactly what it was, but we talked a lot about stretching in the defense, not getting too wide. Spread out is really something that can kill your defense, so staying compact with each other. And uh, Liz took over for a while when Rose had a card. She did a really good job in there, so yeah, it was just... Uh, Pretty good defense today, I think. Thank you. No saying as a team, you know, two wins away from ultimate goal. You guys set for yourself here heading into the season. Well, first of all, it's only one game because we have to earn the second one. So we're only looking one game ahead. And we're first going for UConn, I think it is, mm -hmm. focusing on that right now. So we're not looking further than that right now. Coach, uh, you guys had three goals early. What did you see from your offense today? <laughs> they just, you know, statistically we dominated and we finished on the back five pretty much like we did yesterday, but today we got the finishing and we we moved really well. And it was same statistics, just more on the back end. How does your strategy change um, going into the second half with that 3-0 lead compared to yesterday where you just had the one goal lead? It doesn't. It's 0-0. We won the first half. We have a new game presented to us, and uh, we had to win that half as well. Um, so there's no change. Tactical, a couple adjustments, but nothing else. <coughs> Sorry. How Wait. important was the first goal of the game when you had the goal? How did that motivate the team for the rest of the game? Um, I think it certainly changed. Um, just It's just nice to see like results on the board, like I was saying yesterday. Uh, just being able to like have a visual of what we can do is really nice, and then moving off of that and just keeping the momentum high, and keeping the focus really like on point. And Liz, after you scored your second goal, I saw you talking to Sierra as you guys were jogging off the field for that timeout. What was she saying to you? Um, Sierra's a really like amped up person, so she was just like <laughs> keeping me amped up and stuff. Um, <laughs> she was she's really really excited, and she's really good for the whole team for getting everyone in the zone and really pumped up like that. So she was just keeping that momentum going. And Emma, um, you know, what does it allow the offense to do, you know, when you guys have three goals early? Um, how does that set the tone for the offense in the second half? Yeah, I think it kind of just gives us, we can pick and choose when we want to go forward. And I think that is something our backs do really well, is they're able to swing the ball around. And then when we feel we can go forward, we can go. So it's kind of just picking when we can go, um, which takes just time, timing, and it just helps us up front. Is there any extra motivation for any of you guys um, to play UConn after how the season ended last year? Um, no, I think it, it's uh, that was last year's team. This is a completely different team. They're going to have a completely different team. Um, and I think that's why we have to look at it. Um, that's living in the past, and that's not something this team is about. We're all just about the moments ahead of us. And um, that's the way we're going to go into this game. What will you girls be focusing on this week for practice and gearing up for the uh, you mean upcoming week? Yeah. Right. Um, well, I don't know. You can that well. I wasn't there uh, last year, but um, I think we're going to focus on them. Um, and then, uh, of course, always we're focusing on our sh ourselves. Um, I think last year they played um, uh, like really low in their pressing. Um, maybe we're going to work on that. Um, depends on what they did this year. Um, but I think we're going to scout our ourselves first, what mm -hmm. we did good and what we did wrong this game, and um, keep improving that. And um, after a convincing win like this one, how much confidence does the team have moving forward? Um, well, as I said, actually, after the last ACC uh, game, um, we have a lot of confidence in each other. Um, I think that's the strength of this team as well. Um, we believe in each other, and um, we will keep doing that um, towards um, the next game. Of course, it's a big game, so um, yeah, everyone is motivated.